Uh, Andrew and I were in Greenwich the other day, and we were reading an article in the paper, and it was amazing, right? It was a senior citizen. And he was trying to understand what Facebook was, right? And when I came across the story in the paper, we were kind of just blown away. And yet, it's funny, but there's a deeper meaning behind it. It's when I talk about being kind and living a life that's authentic to you. So here's what he said. He said, for those of my generation who do not and cannot comprehend why Facebook exists, I was trying to make friends outside of Facebook since I don't know how to do it that well, but I've just seen it. So I went outside to make friends on outside of Facebook while, apply while applying the same principles as Facebook. Therefore, every day he would get up out of bed, he'd go outside, he'd walk down the streets, and he would tell passers-by, people walking by, what he had eaten. <laughs> he would tell these same people as he walked by who had no idea who they were, how he felt at the moment, what he did the night before, what he will do later, and with whom. And he will show these people on the streets pictures of his family, his dog, him gardening, his flowers that he's so proud of, taking things apart in the garage because he's really good at it, watering the lawn, standing in front of lawn, landmarks just as he goes to all these different restaurants and he shows people these photos of himself. And he drives around town showing other people photos of him standing in front of landmarks, <laughs> showing him about the vacation he just took at the beach about an hour away, having lunch and doing what he does every single day. That's what he did. And he listened to their conversations of the people he didn't know around him. And when he saw them, he gave them an enthusiastic thumbs up. And he said, I would just tell strangers I like them. Hey, I like you. Great job there, baby. Great job. And he said it was pretty amazing. It worked just like Facebook. After he was done, he already had four people following him, two police officers, one private investigator, and a psychiatrist. Think about that for a second. It's funny, it is funny. And when Andrew and I read it, we were just, we wanted to see him, you know what I mean? I want to see this little old guy going around sharing these photos, and I was amazing. It made me think for a moment. Let's stop being fake. Let's be pretty kind to people. There's a lot of tough people around us that are going through tough times. Let's reach out to somebody who's having, a, I'm tired, I'm sick and tired of hearing about suicides. We have to be kinder to people. We have to be nicer to people. We have to stop worrying about what happens on fake book, Facebook, or anything else, and we have to be authentic and true to ourselves because we never really know what people are going through. You never know. Because if they had someone to talk to, if they had someone to talk to, maybe they wouldn't have taken that pill. If they had somebody to talk to, you would have, somebody would have reached out and stopped them. The point is this, we have to be kinder. You can't believe everything you read online. We have to be kind to people. And wouldn't it truly be amazing that if life worked the same way as it did on Facebook, that you could walk by like this gentleman Henry did, and pass out pictures to strangers on the street and give them a thumbs up and they would give you one back instead of think you were crazy. Wouldn't life be amazing if you could just reach out to me, Sharon, and give me a thumbs up without knowing me and I could give you one back? Well, in this room, that happens. In this room, that happens. And so that's why I say, don't worry about teaching your children the wrong things, or our daughters, teach your daughters less about fitting into glass slippers and more about shattering glass ceilings. They're following us. We are the example for our children. You gotta find the balance between having fun and having funds.